Hi there everyone, welcome back, Harvey here. Uh, another Palace Daily. Uh, in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be addressing the sad news um, that Sproni, after 15 years, um, is going to be leaving the club at the end of this season. Um, also, you've got Jason Punch and the news that just came out today, actually, that he'll also be leaving the club at the end of the season. I think that one was a bit more likely. Uh, both of them were, it was, it was coming to an end for Sproni, obviously. He was... He's uh, as the years crept on. I think he, it was going to be any any time now that he was going to um, call it quits. Um, or call it quits is a bit harsh. It's not the sort of player to to do that. But you know, it was coming to the end of his time here. And I think Punchin, when he went out and loaned to Huddersfield, that was a indicator of how long he had left here as well. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to say I've just got back home, literally just a few minutes ago, from the FBA Awards uh, up in Manchester. It was uh, hosted at the Etihad Stadium. Amazing event. I felt very, very um, privileged to be there, actually, and to be amongst. There are over 400 people there for the awards. If you don't know, that's the Football Blogging Awards. Um, very big. It's, but for, in terms of fan-made content for football, it's the biggest awards um, award show. And... Um, some amazing people there, a lot that I already knew. I was speaking and, and had a gr great time out uh, in the after party and stuff with the Spurs guys, George Ack, who you probably know through 90 Min, Spurs vlogger, um, Chris Cowlin as well, Spurs uh, content, um, amazing channels. Uh, Expressions was there as well, and he's, I'm sure everyone knows about Expressions and um, the character he is. Um, so they were all great, great to catch up with them. 100% Chelsea, um, the guys from there I know very well too, and that it was lovely to talk to Louis. Scotty and the guys and to to catch up with them as well um, Mark Goldbridge who I, I've done some I've done a preview for last season on the channel uh, or sorry earlier the, in in this season on the channel and uh, the guys from Playmakers you know I've just started doing stuff for Playmakers so it was really good to catch up with some of the guys or to meet for the first time some of the guys from Playmaker um, so there was just a great variety and obviously talking to people I've never met before but know their content etc um, an amazing awards night I wasn't actually there for nominated for anything um there's always next year there's always a chance next year i can get a nomination i wasn't expecting to be nominated for anything um uh, i think it was all all a bit too last minute really but i was up there as a guest um playmate actually invited me up there as a guest and it was just a great great evening so just before i started i wanted to say thank you to everyone at um the fbas it was all fantastically run and, it, and i just think it was a fantastic night in general and just goes to show how big um, not just vloggers, but just fan-made content um, in terms of sport in general, not just football, but um, sport in general, how big it's growing now and how important it is. Um, and it was just a lovely evening, a uh, lovely evening and congrats to all the winners. Um, but anyway, getting into this video, I, I wasn't going to do a video on it because I did respond and I did do quite a few tweets on Spironi. Um and also punching today, I did tweets on punching as well, leaving and saying just thank you to them so, so much for what they've done for the club, etc. Um, but it was kind of the when I saw punching was leaving as well, obviously a massive player in terms of, I think he in the last, since we got promoted, he's been one of the few players that really every time he's been on the pitch, whether you love him or hate him, has put heart and soul into everything. And he really, really just puts everything out on the pitch. And I think that he's... That's one thing you can never take away from him. I know it's been debatable sometimes um, how, you know, he's, his consistency has been a bit off. And I think his first season, his goal scoring was amazing and was a big way, big reason we stayed up in our first year. Um, and I think, but I do feel it's quite sad, really. I think each season after that, he got lower and lower in terms of the pecking order, in terms of his starting place. Obviously, I think it, in saying that, his um, time at Palace peaked, obviously, with that goal in the FA Cup final, and he will forever be known for that and will go down in history for that goal. Obviously, it wasn't to be, unfortunately, on the day, but I know for a fact, for me, that was the greatest moment I've experienced as a Palace fan, also one of the worst a few minutes later. But I, will thank, I could just say thank you for that and giving me, and I could probably speak for all Palace fans, thank you for everything you've done uh, in the short time, a fairly short time. I say that, it's been six, about six years now he's been here. Um... He's just, even off the pitch, you know, with the foundation, he's done a lot for the club and just thank you um, for everything he's everything you've done. Jason Punchin, um, definitely one of our own. And I'm sure we will we'll, we'll see him around um, Sellers Park in the future at some point. Um, and that was the main reason I was going to do the videos because uh, obviously it was sad hearing Jules was going to be leaving after 15 years, just definition of a legend. I can't really say, I, I, the, the video will go on too long for me to say everything I wanted to say about Julian. Um, 
uh, just an absolute legend. One of the first players, he was at the club, actually at the club for my first game that I saw when I was about seven years old. Um, <laughs> and he was at the club at that point. And so he's been literally a part of my journey as a Palace fan growing up um, since my earliest memory at Sellers Park. So... It's going to feel really weird him not being there. I know he hasn't started for the last few seasons and he's not been a first-team player, but same as Pungent, off the pitch with the foundation and just everything around the club, they just they get it. You know, they're Selhurst, they're Crystal Palace through and through, bleed red and blue. And I know it sounds quite cringy of me, but they genuinely, genuinely are absolute legends in my eyes. I think Sproni deserves to have a statue. I think Pungent... Um, I think that the only uh, punching probably not a statue only because I think there are people above him in the pecking order. Not to say he's done anything wrong or for us, but there's so many, so many um, amazing moments from the two of them, and I just wanted to do a video just to say thank you in person and just on behalf of all the Palace fans as well. I'm sure you guys in the comments will agree with me. Thank you for everything you've done, and um, I'm sure they'll be involved with Crystal Palace in the years to come. So please like, share, subscribe, guys. Comment below your thoughts, your best moments from Punchin and Sproni in the future, uh, in the past. And I'll see you guys next time.